sports fans, you do not want to miss a two-day basketball camp I have put together with my man Mike Kelly of Hoops 101. It will be on June 4th and 5th at Culver City High School in Los Angeles, and we will combine cutting-edge techniques with some of the best instructors and speakers around to improve your total approach to the game. If you're in the area or can make it to LA that weekend, register today. Space is limited. You win. Steph Curry led an onslaught of offense against the Washington Wizards last night. And whenever we break these kinds of nights down, I'm always amazed at how often the defense falls asleep on him. Is it too much to ask for one night to have whomever is defending him to stay in his stance the whole possession? Or is it some sort of Jedi mind trick? These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. It didn't take long to find evidence of a sleeping defender. Look at John Wall backing up, standing straight up and down, not ready to get around this quick screen. This forces the much slower Jared Dudley to switch. The Wizards actually do a good job to disrupt the flow of the offense for several seconds, but then watch Dudley standing straight up and down with no vision of Curry at all, who proceeds to put him in the blender, get him flailing, before putting him out of his misery with the splash. Here's better defense. On the dribble pitch, Wall goes under but closes the gap quickly. A quick step up screen forces a double team to the baseline. The Wizards are in perfect position to make life difficult for Steph, but Wall disengages to stick with Draymond and there's no hope for Dudley's slow feet to contest this hop step back corner three splash. So here's the problem you have with Curry. Now that you've given him a few shots with terrible defense and he's found his rhythm, Bradley Beal is at his mercy as Steph does the jab step, throw the ball out, switch pivot feet move that Jim Barnett demonstrated on the court with me last so month. Here, 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 and pick it up and go. We've talked a lot about how important the low post is to the Warriors offense, primarily because they run elbow splits with Steph and Clay. If you stay on the high side to trail Steph around the three point line, it's a simple read to cut back door and a slick bounce pass for a layup. The Warriors borrow a page from the Clippers playbook with high horns, and the second Bogut has more than four feet between him and Gortat, it's over. This play? It's just the epitome of what makes Steph so good. Great heads up steal when Wall is going too fast, fantastic effort by Dudley, but just look at this a few times. Wow. We broke down the top five pick and roll tandems earlier this year, and one reason Steph and Draymond weren't included is because they run a ton of false action that still gets counted as a pick and roll. Here's a twist. Once Draymond slips the screen, Curry spins back to get the space screen. Nene was worried about Draymond's roll, so it's over before it begins. I guess to make it more fair, the Warriors attack four on five, as Spates is taking his sweet time. They've got three guys around him, and it's hard to blame Gooden for giving him a step, but bam. We've talked about how good the Warriors are with out-of-bounds plays. Well, here's pure triangle offense as the Warriors break into pinch post and get Curry curling off the double pin down with nary a help defender in sight. Here's the play where the Warriors use Gortat as a screener when Curry doesn't even wait for Draymond to get in position. Watch the skip to Mylou, and a good way to protect the ball is to bring it behind the back for a layup. But are you kidding me, Steph? The Wizards had gotten control of the game early in the third and cut the lead to five points, until Curry decided to practice dribbling through cones and letting fly a floater from 15 feet that softly lands in the nylon. On this jump shot, Ramon Sessions is walking around out there, so naturally he isn't ready to go after the loose ball. Steph Curry is, and I swear he bounced the ball off of Sessions' leg to a teammate on purpose. There isn't much the defense can do, and Curry even pump fakes to make this shot much harder, but it doesn't matter. It's always the case that if you miss a layup, you give up a layup. Only, in this instance, the layup for the Warriors is a transition three for Curry. 
The Warriors get back into the elbow split with Curry and Clay, and this time, the Wizards do a nice job of switching to blow it up. Of course, this just gives Curry a lane to blow by his man. Nene gets a nice seat on the runway, and Curry is dropping in another easy two. And to finish off his night, Clay and Curry again are involved in an off-ball screen. The Wizards seem to be on a mandate to always switch this, but Beal didn't get the memo. He shows great hustle to get back into play, and replay showed this should not have been a goaltend, but it was too little too late, as the Warriors not only entertained us, but came away with the road victory. Sports fans, for bonus footage of Steph's incredible night, download our mobile app and watch it there exclusively. See even more incredible highlights and in how we got them. Plus, our app has so many cool features that allow you to interact with me and others in the community in a whole new level of conversation. You in?